First thing you want to do when you're spooling up your spinning rod is you want to open up the bale. Once your bale's open, you're ready to spool your reel. The first thing you want to do is go through the first guide of your rod. Once you've done that, you want to start tying your knot onto the spool. Uh, first start with one overhand knot at the tag end. Set it down. And then you want to go into a double overhand knot. You don't need anything too fancy. Cinch it down, and then what you want to do is pull on the main line until you get to that original overhand knot that you tied on the tag end. That will get it nice and snug on the spool. Once you've got that nice and snug, you can clip the tag end off. All right, so once you have your knot tied onto the spool, it's time to start winding. The main, main thing you want to make sure of is that the line is coming off the same direction it's going on to the spool. And generally, that's face up on your spool. So you want to lay your, lay your spool flat, face up, and make sure that it's coming off the same way it's going on. Reason for that is it'll prevent line twist. So when you're spooling it on, you want to hold your hand up maybe a, a foot or two above the reel and grab onto the line. Pinch it, not terribly hard, but you want to get a good a good solid pinch on that line just so you're getting tension on the spool. If for some reason your spool is face up but it's coming off the opposite direction it's going on and you're getting line twist, easy fix, just flip it over. Now all you have to do is just keep spooling until you get to one eighth below the rim of the spool. What that does is it prevents wind knots and line twist as well. So it's very important not to overspool your reel.